Welcome back. Okay, when someone you work with is toxic, they are hazardous to your health, literally, but what do you do about them? Author Linda Swindling explores this topic in her book, Stop Complainers and Energy Drainers. And Linda, you've been on before talking about these different types of, of co-workers. Right. And really what we're learning is it's kind of people all through your life. In Absolutely. the workplace is what you're talking about, but, but in life in general as well. Um, there are toxic people who make doing the job that you were hired to do extremely difficult. Right. So who right. are these people? How do we recognize them? Well, out of the five types, the last, you know, that controller type and the toxic type are the most dangerous. Mm -hmm. The most dangerous because they're the ones that cause the lawsuits, they're the ones that can be the bullies, and they're very mm -hmm. manipulative. Bullies, so, that's a good, that's mm -hmm. a really good word to use because I think that that, that that hits home with a lot of people because we've all worked with a bully, usually a bully boss. Right. You know? Usually a bully boss um, or the bully on the playground. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's the both. It's the same. They're yeah. trying to get control of the situation. Now, usually at work, they're trying to get things done. So maybe it's somebody who's really stressed and really trying to get things done. I had one, and I'm embarrassed to say, but he used to cuss and throw things. I actually hid under my desk one time. Um, so that <laughs> to I hide see because him. you didn't want to be in the line didn't of fire. didn't want to be in the line of fire. And people said, why don't you run to the women's restroom? Well, yeah. because he followed me in. You know, that's... Wow. So... What my bully boss was trying to get done was the work and under so much stress and trying to get it done. So you hear things like, get out of my way or where is so-and-so? And they can be very intimidating. Or you hear things crashing and banging. Yeah. And, and you're always sitting there, you know, and you're working and they come in and they kind of swoop in and scare you a little bit. So isn't there a way, though, that for those, and I'm going to say bosses because I think that usually it's like a, a project manager or a boss that has that more controlling, like, mm -hmm. that, that can be intimidating. Aren't there things that they need to do to learn how to how to actually manage people oh, in a yeah. in a positive way? Yeah, but if you do, the, we have to really deal with them. Okay, but wait. If I'm the employee reporting to someone, I'm not going to say to my boss, "Okay, you really need to to develop your leadership right. skills." Who could you go talk to about this? Right. So, if you were uh, me, you would, and then you would get fired. So. Well, yeah. <laughs> so, so most of us need to keep our jobs. Yeah. So it really is like you stand up to a bully on the playground. And remember, these are the people who like to get things done, make decisions. Mm -hmm. So you stand up to the person and say, what do you need? Go into questions, short words, questions with your controllers. And then let them decide. You say, okay, so you need this file. Do you need it at three or do you need it at four? They choose. They get mm -hmm. to choose something. Now, I could have gotten it to them at 11 a.m., but I'm going to give myself some, some cushion there so right. that I make sure I can go and get it. Right, right. But you've, it's just like the bully on the... These are, these are tactics that these folks have used since they were kids to get done what they need to get done. Do you address their behavior? You can say, I can't get things done when you yell at me. I can't help you. You cannot do it while they're escalated. While they're venting and you can't go, I'm going to yell back at you, that's not going to work. Right. You just need to stand, but, but don't let them hover over. You stand up, look them in the eye, be assertive, and say, what do you need? Quick, quick questions, but show them. I'm, I'm not afraid of you, but I'm also not going to fight you. Is there a fine line, though, between, because standing up to a bully on the playground is one thing, but when you're standing up to the bully who signs your paychecks, mm -hmm. it's, a, it's, it's a different situation. So is there a fine line of how, how much you can stand up for yourself and how much you do kind of have to cower to their, their controlling ways? If you can keep in mind, this person's probably stressed. Or I'm crazy. Them, this or person's crazy. probably crazy. Which brings us to the next one. But yeah, on the, on the first one, the controllers, if you can say, this person's stressed trying to get things done, I'm going to try to help mm -hmm. him or her get things done. And yeah, if it gets worse, of course you go and talk to HR. Or you, get, you get a business coach or you say, is it me? But usually it escalates over time. Mm -hmm. You know, you've allowed them to yell at you for a while. Now they're thinking, okay, this is the way things get done. This is the way I can manage. This is the way I can get stuff done. Yeah. Um, your, your next personality type is... Uh, Probably the worst. Toxics. Yeah. Yeah. It, they're almost poison to the workplace. And if you've ever worked or been in a relationship with a toxic, you'll know. Mm -hmm. The whole time you think, am I crazy? Why is this person so mean? Or what, right. I can work with anybody. Why is this going so badly? Right. So toxic. What have I done wrong? Or yeah, what, yeah. Yeah. And toxics are those narcissistic people. They're the ones that have no conscience. So imagine for a second, if you had no conscience and you only cared about you, what would be possible? You know, if they, I rule the world, <laughs> and they do, and yeah. they do. And what's really scary about them is they're so manipulative, and they're very charming. Mm -hmm. So they're charming to the people above them. So bosses are, you know, their bosses, their management, they don't see anything's happening wrong. Right. They don't know that they're poisoning the environment with manipulating or lying about people. 
are taking credit for somebody else's work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, and so when we talk about bosses, that that's a that's a familiar personality type, unfortunately, in workplaces with bosses, but also with coworkers. Oh, yeah. They're the ones that sit there and they're they're gossiping and they're they're starting the stories and stirring the pot, and mm -hmm. and to a point where it really is considered toxic. Yeah, and the toxics are the ones that say. No, I don't know why they'd say that about you. Yeah, and you're like, where they drop the bomb and go, I don't know what happened. Yeah, or I love it when you confront them. You actually come up to them and say, I think you did this. They say, not, no, I didn't. They just kind of cross their arms and go, prove it. Oh, yeah, that's you hard. know. So when you face that one, th this is the toughest one. First, you got to use stealth. You've got to be very careful with who you share this with. Because, again, the bosses may think they're doing great. Your buddies may think that they're their friends because they're charming so they can disarm you later. So they may not have been under the, the scope yet or the target. So, so what do you do? I would get an executive coach and I would go to a counselor. Go to somebody who's a professional who knows about narcissists or borderline personalities and you really want to say, okay, this is what I'm seeing. Record it all down exactly yeah. as they say it, right? And then say, am I crazy? And they'll say, no, you're not crazy. Let me tell you how you deal with this type of personality. Right, right. And then the big one is watch and see what works. So there will be someone who knows how to deal with that toxic. You just need yeah. to watch, look around and say, oh, Lisa knows how to do this. Try it out and see what works. And yeah. see what, and you know, if you're going to leave, and some people that's the only thing they can do, escape. Again, stealth. Do it quietly. You want to do your search that in a way that somebody else couldn't couldn't figure that out. Right. You know that toxic does not need to know that yeah. you might be leaving because they will retaliate. It's so scary. It is. It's scary, but <laughs> I'm we're scared. So good is, it's the smallest percentage. Yeah, you and know? and you need these tips. And I love your book because oh, it gives such right. realistic ways to not only identify who these people are and what sort of personality types they are, but how to deal with them. Yeah, and go to so, stopcomplainers.com and take that and that toxic. Take one, the test. Yeah, the toxic one can use all different types. All right. Thank yeah. you so much, Linda. I hope you've enjoyed our week of Linda as much as we have. Um, you can find this book, by the way, at Amazon, Walmart, even Barnes & Noble, basically anywhere that you buy your books. Um, or check out, like she said, stopcomplainers.com. You can take a test, figure out what type of complainer you're dealing with, and, and learn how to make work a happy place again. Right? Great. All right. Thanks, Linda. Thanks. We are back with more broadcast right after this.